Dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Let me play it for you for Dongan Rampa 2. Goodbye, despair. And the other game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess you should head over to the restaurant. Okay, good. But there was no sound. I was freaking out for a second. But anyway, yes. Hi. Welcome back to Dongan Rampa 2. Uh, last time we left off, it was 2018. Yes, while this might not be the first video going up in 2019, it is the first recorded. And yeah, uh, yeah in case you missed it last time, uh, there's a fucking video game, some old fucking like, clock tower looking ass shit. And I said it'd be a motive, and everyone's like, what the fuck? Why is this a motive? I don't get it. And then when I played it, and it was like, yeah, so fucking some shit's going on. I don't remember a whole lot about it, because. Like I said, it's been like a few poke, poke, poke. while since I played it. What are you groaning about? Why you? And that matter is something stupid. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Of course it is. Music genre. <laughs> Right, let's go fucking Stone Cold Hip Hop. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, just fucking head out there. It's like, hey, what's up? It's Bookie. It's scary. But is that something you can really decide on a whim? Ah, God. I've missed this. Also, uh, my computer has been having some issues lately, so hopefully this doesn't fuck anything up. Hopefully nothing gets fucked and we were able to get through this all proper like. Good morning, Hyoko. You little fucking hey, hey. demon. Nah, I mean, I play this over and over again. She's not replied to my greeting, is she? <laughs> well, how's boot fuck you too, then? You with your fucking undertale looking ass dog hairpins. Jeez. Too late, you tiny demon. I feel like you already are one. Yeah, here. It's a nicer version of what I said. Good morning. Hey. Now it's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yep. Perfect timing, then. Yeah, yeah, fucking, I am. They're forcing me to. I brought them to you yesterday morning. I don't know about the others. Um. Wait a minute. Due to the events of the last episode, I speculated that Nagito might want my dick. Does Chucky want Nagito's dick? Is that a thing? I really hope it's not. Good day. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, thank God, I put some food on my plate. I sat myself at a table near the window. Yo! And then I got shot. Not wrong. You. Why? <laughs> Who would let this five year old on the island? This seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. But everyone Let played it. Tell you this. Hmm? After Gundam said that, I look around the restaurant. Ah, fuck. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. Um... 
maybe. What did you do? What the? Um, um, um. <laughs> Jeez! You got the possibility, but what the fuck did you do? I don't know. Fucking Yo. picture and shit. That's weird. What? Um. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Huh? Oh man, looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. I forgot how bad I feel for some of these fucking people. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo. Yeah, what it is. What is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. Sweet nothings. <sighs> huh? What? Sorry, I was lost in thought about thinking about other things. What do they mean, it's bad? You fiend. Did Nagato fucking escape? Or did Mahiru no. let him out? Yeah, that's why you ask. <laughs> Shiver. Man, Gundam. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Yeah, that's nice, but just... I'm so not sure how I feel about you. Oh, God. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. You know, right? Huh? Conserve my energy. <laughs> what was that about? Does he want to fuck? So talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. Um, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30 p.m. But what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. Free time, all right. Go then, first. Check him up at. Clean up your poop. Hmm. So where are people? Who's in there? Nagito's in there. Amazing thing. So it's her. Gundam's there. Nagamar. Nagamar's there. Huh. Okay then. I guess it's a matter of. Choose you to pick from from a fucking limited list. Um. Let's see if 
Nagito can hang out. I kind of want to get more of a read on him. The other two ones I was working on ain't fucking around, apparently. Nagato is tied up beyond this point. I don't want to see him right now. I'm not mentally prepared for it. Well, alrighty then. I shouldn't go inside. Alrighty then. Nikamaru it is then. As away I go. Jojo seeking bullet right now. Okay, and where was he? Down past the ranch, so this way. Probably made a terrible mistake. Let's let's fucking run this train down. What should I do? Should I invite Nekamara to hang out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> a good colon health. Nekamara lectured me today about how to eat food. Not how to take care of my butthole. So then, those new, I am horribly cheating for this. Just, just the worst kind of cheating. So let's see what I actually have to potentially give him. I don't want to give him some fucking punk shit. It seems like all, I'm, all I can do is give him some punk shit. Yeah, fuck, I got dick. Yeah, I have fucking bullshit to give him. You tell me he don't want a fucking man's nut? Good God. Yeah, fuck, this is just sad. You gotta be fucking... Okay, yeah, let's... I'm afraid jean pants of a detective who roared the, roared the sun in the name of justice. They're not jeans. They're jean pants. Yeah, That's sure, bruh. Hey, Nekamaru. There's something I've been wondering about ever since we first met. What's up with the fucking lightning? D -d Don't misunderstand, please. Hey, why are you walking towards me? Didn't you just tell me to come to you? What's it? I sort of want to know. Wait, no, I definitely don't want to find out. Then... Yeah, I wanted to ask you why you're just a team manager. No, 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 I did not mean it like that. Please back away.
Okay, we talking like a... Or just like a regular bond, or talking like some fucking Yuri bond? Wait, is that... Was that fucking Leon? Do people like that really exist? Sheesh. Not much of a sports guy anyway, but, but more important, he's got a lot of confidence. And I can understand how proud he must be to be a team manager. Just as I thought, Nekamaru is an amazing guy. With fucking lightning. That is the thing. Huh? How'd you know? Hold on. One in both mind and body? I really don't want that. <laughs> It's crazy in so many ways, but there's no denying that he's an amazing guy. You did it again, didn't you, punk? <laughs> I thought I got to know Nekamaru a little better today. Hope of fragment. After listening to Nekamaru just talk about his heroic escapades for a while, I went back to my cottage. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No. There's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Huh? It's well past the arranged time, and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... Yo! That! Hey! We're on a murder island, dude! I thought you were dead! Late. Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. The guy who doesn't mind showing up late, even though he's the one who asked me to come. You know, that kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey. A little favor. I don't like where this is going. Doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you... So again, why me? Aren't you closer friends with fucking Nekamaru? You fucking kidnapped a guy together. Man. Okay, well, that's why then, I guess. I 
I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey! Well, yeah, man. You're snapping at me? There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. If I have no choice, then fine. So, what do I have to do? Well... Alright! Got it. So I need to go to the diner. Engine's ready. Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. For now. Kids actually just have to head over to the diner. But before I do that, let's see if my fucking pet pooped. I, mean, I do want to get present first. Just clean up your shit. Uh, something I got two of. Yeah, sure. There we go. Be all nice and hopeful before we destroy him. Whoop! It's the second island then. Wait. I, I don't know why I even bothered looking. I don't know which way is faster. Fuck it. I'll just go this way then. Commit. Me. The fuck? For now. All right. Okay, he just teleported ahead of me. Hey, get, get gun, that one's out. <laughs> that was a run on top of the foreground. Island 2, away! God damn it. If I see him in front of me again, I'm gonna fucking flip out. Is that the diner or the beach? Ah, dead body. <laughs> Is you sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalker-ish? Yeah, plan make a lot more sense if we were just to go and hang out on the beach. I thought that was the plan. When are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. It's 3 p.m. right now, so we still have to wait one more hour. <laughs> I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. 
Hey. Engines revving. This is if this is in the game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin in my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. What? It hasn't even been ten minutes yet. Twenty minutes passed, and then thirty minutes. As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. <laughs> no. Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh? I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where that person was standing. That was a new frame from Kazuichi. I don't think I've seen before. What? Hey, yo, what it is? I knew it was you, Fuyahiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! Hey, hey! He's here trying to get some. You... The fuck is your deal? Assume Nabuki dies soon, you're fucking no. heading right for you. He really does suck at this. Well. Oh my. That's the second I ever thought of here. Well, yo, boy, you got some fucking horny ass fish eyes. What's the deal? I I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiko go? God. Um. Why you? Hmm. For now. Now oh, he got forceful all of a sudden. Uh.
Of course! Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I can't take a mind off Fugihiko. Oh well. I've come this far. Can't turn back now. Is rice a side dish? Wait, is there even rice here? <laughs> I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. this thing god damn it are you serious <laughs> it's not the problem fuck it i'll just swim in my shorts It's matching! They definitely don't want to wear it. As she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. What is it? What's outside? Let us investigate to the beach. Despite our questions, Yoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? Well. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mahiru, she did? She turned it down? It's so, unexpect so unexpected of her not to join in an, an event like this. In fact, she's total she totally planned this sort of thing. Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey! Whoa! 
Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. Entrance. As I turned around, my my, how disappointing! I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Aw, oh, dip. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Dude, if I can hang also, out at a beach. It's I a fucking snack or whatever. We'll do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. Hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. Yeah, what, what, what board game? I see. That's disappointing. What, what's, what's, the, what's the game? Can you tell me what the game is? Don't fucking lump me in the same category as you, dog. Despite the fact that I'm probably in that same fucking category. God damn it. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> what happened? Hey, hey, hey! No one is going to believe that, dude. What are you saying? I guess you look good. Thanks. <laughs> it's probably a heart attack. Yo. We heard a voice as the diner door slowly opened. And the person who walked through it was... Why do you have blood on you? Uh, hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Ah! Akane! What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happen to run into Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well,. It'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit! <laughs> I'm all fired up now! I never knew such a strong opponent even existed! <laughs> With an unusually forceful demeanor, we can't pull Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> hey. All right. Oh damn. Mm -hmm. Ajime, Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? Just did a little swimming. A little swimming? 
I swam around the island for about three hours. <laughs> That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. Oh, hey, somebody actually being proactive about you didn't leaving. See anything after you swam for three hours? It's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Again, just like take a flame, take up like a plain flute a lot, use the lodge. Awesome! Cut it in half. Let's like we all get some oars and just go. Oh my my! Yeah, let's just keep recycling Young that footage. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. <sighs> uh, I am terribly sorry for my delay. He's doubled down on excitement. Oh, it's a diving suit. Ah, it's a wetsuit. Wetsuit, yeah, that's what I meant. To prevent sunburn, I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really? It is my bad. Oh my. Miss Sonia. This guy, he's quick to recover. Akane's wound is still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! Engines revving! With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um... I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my, as I mumbled my excuse, I ran out the diner, almost as if I were escaping. Beach. To Miss Chenandler Bong Beach. That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! <laughs> yes! Well then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Woo! A, a body? Th that's a lie! Impossible! S 
someone. Someone come here! <laughs> that was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. You know, actually, on the beach, in the beach house. Cosmic screen. Did I really hear it coming from here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. I mean, we did just hear the body discovery announcement. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? Me. As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Myru. And an anime mask. If this was all a dream, when did I when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is Mahiro on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Yes. The deadly life has begun. Yes. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good in taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Obviously, don't know what's going on either. Oh. Um. <laughs> Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had a change and whatnot. Must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return, around the time I realized the others were already here. The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach. Their faces pale with terror. Something like this. With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house. Until a voice stopped them. Hold it. But 
apparently none leading in. Yep, we're only in chapter two of this game, guys. That's right. Oh, lies. Hey, hey. There's a baseball bat covered in blood, dude. Like. In other words. Well, it's third degree, but still. is. So... Yes, let me it's investigate. The Monokuma file! <laughs> this should start to feel familiar. Do your best. <laughs> hey! No, no, she doesn't. Investigate, you know, the thing you said to do. Why? Damn it! Everyone feels the same, but oh, we can't do anything else except do it. Yeah, fuck. And there's no way you can just ignore the reason my hero was killed. Hey. Cause it's bad. Jackie. usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me, too. Understood. I'm gonna do it! Perhaps...
You're right. If all of you heard the announcement, you wouldn't know where the murder took place. If all you heard was the announcement, you wouldn't. You won't know where the murder took place. Ah. Hey. Wordsing. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more. Re there's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Fuck all these other assholes. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. The victim is walking through a clean three at the time of death around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. Cause of death was a single blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other suspicious external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m. That's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then if we had just gone to the beach house instead. No, now is not a time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm gonna find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. It's the only way the rest of us can survive. The first, the first lock people. Did you find some kind of clue? See? Oh, that. Well. Couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahir's body was blocking it. Hmm. Someone's foot, someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Yoko's. It appears. Yeah, it's probably an extremely important clue. Add to the truth bullets. Just talk to everybody before really investigating. However, that it's not just Chiaki. Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. What do you mean? 
What are you talking about? I'm not gonna drop it. What what the heck? You started it. Perhaps. However. Now time to investigate the actual clues. There are lots of drinks inside this refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there are less drinks. Do people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. Maybe if there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... Hmm, there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? They're all the same brand? According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiro with a blunt object. That blunt object. It's this metal bat, right? Huh. This metal bat. Yep. Huh? Well. Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. Beaten? I finished the game with a game over, but you were able to beat it? So what am I supposed to actually do to beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. <coughs> so, it's okay to say that this metal bat is, the a is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Not necessarily. The doorknob looked weird. What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask.
You've seen this? God dip. That is impressive. An anime that has viewership over 90%. Is Sunny's country really alright? It cannot be. Yeah, it was. Could it be what? I am sorry. Fuck, where are you going, bitch? For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. Hmm. For something to be work for something to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. The door is half open. Last time I came here, that wasn't the case. It's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here, too. This is a pretty spacious walk in closet. There's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person can stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Hmm, there's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. It's connected to the incident. Did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Hmm. There's not much else that could be related to the incident. There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves. Even surfboards and a surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. I guess that's everything inside the closet. Let's look at the body. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiro I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiro. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slap both of my hands onto my cheeks and face Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning against the door to the against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor, streaked as it scrawled through them. As she crawled through them. Bah. So she used all her energy to crawl away, lean against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. My main feeling is that she tried to kill someone and then, like, clocked them with the bat, but then they pushed her and she fell back and hit her head on the doorknob. Mahiru's leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. So 
this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Building from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. <laughs> the shower is out of order, then why isn't it just a waste of space? Isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. What the heck? What's your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil. You must have read my mind. Doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check inside too. Guess I might as well check inside the shower room too. Um, you can use it as a dress. You can also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule! Damn it! It wouldn't be that easy. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean you think if someone could crawl through it. I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. Not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case. Yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me. Huh? Now then. Pitching and help? I feel like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll beat you up. She really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> I, I see. That's good. I learned a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. <clears throat> hey! Your balance sucks! Make sure your stance is wider! Y you... you're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Hmm. I shouldn't have asked. 
So, how's the window? Let's see. So that's what happened. Did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With Akane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. How can I jump off my shoulders and flash a wide grin? <laughs> but the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? <laughs> if that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Oh, oh, honey. But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as a step stool would still be inside. Like. Huh? Really? So. I got it. I mean, sure, but. Just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Hi. You pissed me off. You. But I didn't. You were hitting on my back. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. This is pretty much everything I noticed in the in the shower room. And I guess I finished investigating all I can. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. It's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That. There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Missing link. That's the killer's motive for kill for killing for the killing this time. Hold on. And that mystery must be hidden inside the game. Plus the person who plus the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Oh, that's been updated. Hey, Chiaki, I still wanted to ask you. Are you okay right now? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Yep. Go. So... Let's go. 
Yes, onward, Watson! With Shaki leading, I left the beach house. I headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. Bitch! Hello there. The fuck do you get out? Nagito! <laughs> He's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? Now, now. It's Mamami! You... Why do you want to tie Nagato without anyone's permission? No way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. Yes. Hmm. Now, now. You have no right to say that. Enough! Enough already! Just, just go away already. <laughs> Naito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man. True ending. Now then. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey! You're right. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's any if there's a walkthrough for this game. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second day and the fourth day again, fourth day again, and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well? Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? Yes, please. That's why I'm asking you. 
the hidden command. See? Is that? Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. And the hidden command is. Yep. Okay then. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I need to press down five times the title screen. All right, let's do this. We're going to the Twilight Murder, Twilight Central Murder Case. Press the down button five times with your own hands. Down five, huh? The screen changed. She was right. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome Murder Cases True Edition. Truth Edition. I just started up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press the start button, right? Now, oh, let's begin the Twilight Center murder case. Pre please press the start button with your own hands. I did it. We open with a specific murder case. A tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that, all, that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who had snuck into school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, Girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first and third first day and third day, you'll be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in the truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day when it all began. Waiting for a fucking jump scare. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for keeping everyone waiting. The days are going. We're gonna get home later because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl Alley. You're not gonna do all the voices. Just fuck that. Oh good, the pervert is back. Let's go. And running and running and running and upstairs.
That's okay, leave it to me. Kill B! That fucking work. Oh, you go to the teacher's house and take the fucking key. See this dead body. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, um. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Well, shiz. Alright, everybody, burn the body, and then we can fucking get out of here. We burn our fingerprints off, no one ever knows. No, we never talk to each other again. Nothing ever happens. There's a lot of assumptions. I mean, I follow the logic, it just seems a bit iffy. Stolen school swimming doesn't matter. Blah, 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 blah. You already touched a already touched a bunch of shit, so and well, te okay, technically, girl B's touched a bunch of shit, and she seems like the kind of person who would snitch in a fucking second. Fucking snitches get stitches, bitches get scratches. Yeah, you know, 
know something's up. You know something's funky. What? Some fucking intrigue. Well... What? Okay. Interesting. Looks like this is the end. That's right. Hey, Jackie, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um. You're not wrong. No, not that. See? Staff roll. What I want to know is on the staff roll? Distracted supervisor. <laughs> there you go, programmer. Sumiki, Koizumi, Yoko, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu, Kuzuryu.
Wait, just now. See? Is that true? By the way, hey, answer my question. Well, fuck you too, then. Ending prize. <laughs> too bad. Did you say ending prize? Ending prize. That is the thing. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting for the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to, so it's connected to that this time, too. But is it really... Is it really true? We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? You... Huh? Perhaps... So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? If that's the case. I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. That's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, hey. <laughs> the ambition salivating. Leave it to me. Alrighty, good tip. I see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Hello there. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Okay, just make your point. Well, them. You don't know.
Bye now. What should we do? Mm. I guess you're right. And we'll call there for today. Fucking chock full of new fucking info. Oh, I have missed this game. But thank y'all for joining me. I'll be back at some point with more of this fucking shit. Getting there. Getting to the trial. But until then, I'm dead. See you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out.